Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important session for SEBI grade 8 2023 exam. Uh, it's cash flow statement. So students cash flow statement is an important part of the accounting and commerce syllabus. So let's start the session with a simple cash flow statement. This is the kind of statement. Uh, see students, let me explain the concept first of all. Let's assume that you are running a pen factory, right? Pens factory, right? You produce pens, right? So to make a pen, you need plastic, right? You need to pay your employees, right? They, there can be administrative, you know, employees, there can be laborers, right? So you need to pay them. You need to pay rent, you need to pay income tax, all these expenses are what these are your operating expenses these are what these are operating expenses all the expenses that are directly related to the production process these are operating expenses all the expenses that are directly related to the production process are operating expenses let's let's just do this one by one operating activities all the all the expenses and receipts that are directly related to the production process or in case you are in service sector directly related to what you do these are cash from operating activities so receipts from sale of goods and services income tax payment payment to suppliers payment received from debtors salaries paid wages paid rent paid any other type of operating expense is in cash from operating activities right so that can be a cash inflow means cash received or cash outflow that means cash paid so what is cash from investing activities let's say you bought you bought a plant to produce pens you bought a plant right in in ludhiana let's say so you bought this plant in 1991 okay now what you feel is uh in your locality you know the suppliers are far away that you know taxes are really high you want to you know take this plant from ludhiana sorry from ludhiana to let's say himachal you want to move from ludhiana to maybe in solon there are tax benefits in 2022 you want to move to solon because of the tax benefits you know raw material is easily available the industry is there so what you want to do is you want to sell this plant you want to sell this plant and you want to buy a new plant in solon so let's say you bought this plant just for let's say you know 20 lakh rupees in 1991 and now you are selling this plant for let's say you know 10 crore rupees quite possible right so these receipts and these payments you know the payments that you're going to make to buy the plant these are not your operational expenses these expenses you don't do these expenses in day-to-day -day life right in day-to-day -day running your business you you don't do this so in investing activities are cash activities related to non-current assets so land is a non-current asset machinery is a non-current asset so any cash activity related to these non-current assets are known as cash from investing activities right so uh, the land that you are purchasing the land that you are purchasing this uh, and the money that you are paying or the money that you are receiving for the sale this is cash from investing activities any uh, any cash related activity from non-current asset that is cash from investing activities then what is cash from financing activity so any cash related transaction related to a non-current liability or owner's equity it is financing activity okay so non-current liability or owner's equity let's say you got a loan you you got a loan a business loan the cash receipt by taking a loan that is a financing activity the uh, and then 
the principal amount that you are receiving that is what that is a financing activity let's say you sold the stock a share of your business that is what a financing activity you are paying the dividends you are paying dividend that is related to owner's equity right so that is financing activity so any activity that is related to non-current liability and owner's equity that is what that is from financing activity okay so loan taken to run your pen factory you need cash right either the business owner is you know investing his cash or you are taking the cash from the bank all the cash activities cash transactions related to non-current liabilities and owners equity they are what they are cash from financing activities we'll understand this now we'll do some quizzes uh, first of all just give it a look this is a normal cash flow statement you are not supposed to remember all lengthy you know uh, these statements but see cash from investing the equipment that you are purchasing or selling it's an investing notes payable cash flow notes payable it is a loan kind of a loan okay and then increase in account payable will we do that right so these are operational expenses a financial statement showing the inflow and outflow of cash is what it is a statement of cash flows so now you need to match operating activities so collection of cash from debtors that is your normal day-to-day -day business you collect cash from your you know debtors that is normal day-to-day -day activity purchase of equipment for cash that is what that is investing activities sale of machinery dividend uh, received so dividend paid is financing okay but dividend received the shares that you are holding uh, right I mean, these are non-current, uh, you know, your assets and any money that you are receiving from that, that is from investing activity and then financing activity issue of share capital. So it is related to what it is related to owners equity and non-current liabilities. So this is the answer. I hope yeah, this is correct. Okay. Which of the following are cash and cash equivalent cash and bank short term investment? So any investment that can be in cash on the same day, right? These are cash and a cash equivalent. So A and C both are correct. Stock is not correct. It may take time to convert the stock into cash. Time lag sakta hai. The following is given students. What you need to calculate on the basis of following information, you need to calculate the total cash flow. It is very important as a questions aate hain. Bar bar aate hain. In the beginning of the year, so the balance was 20,000. The balance was 20,000. Saal ki starting mein aapne 20,000 lene the debtor se. Uh, outstanding was 20,000. At the end of the year, the outstanding was 30,000, right? So total sale done is 2 lakh rupee. Total sale done is 2 lakh rupee. So in the beginning, 20,000. So it's in the closing, it's 30,000 sale done how much sale you that you have done it is two lakh rupee two lakh is the sales it's to balance balance was opening balance was twenty thousand additional two lakh rupee ka sale thirty thousand by closing so by cash how much cash you have received it is one lakh and ninety thousand whatever remaining it is one lakh and ninety thousand so it's here so Stalgi starting mein 20,000 was the balance additional 2 lakh rupee ka sale kiya hai aapne additional 2 lakh rupee ka aapne kiya sale okay and then by cash 1 lakh 90,000 bach kiya okay very important question students please remember that which of the following is not correct fund flow statement is a wider uh, concept it is true so isko cut kar do if inflow of the fund is greater than outflow uh, uh, funds then excess goes in you see nahi hai. if inflow of the funds is greater than outflow then the excess goes in increase in working capital this is true no issue issue of debentures will result in inflow of cash even this one is correct conversion of debentures into equity is not an inflow so this one is correct this one is false e is false so e is false why when you convert debenture, when you convert a loan into equity, so koi cash ka 
लेना देना नहीं हुआ सो ई इज अ करेक्ट आंसर सो विच इज एक्चुअली डी आई गेस उसमें गलती होगी सो दिस इज एक्चुअली ए बी दिस इज सी एंड दिस इज डी एंड दिस इज ई सो डी इज एक्चुअली करेक्ट आंसर फंड फ्लो स्टेटमेंट इज बेसिक इट्स अक्रूवल इट्स एन अक्रूवल बेसिस अक्रूवल बेसिस जब भी ड्यू होता है पैसा राइट सो लेट से द रेंट रेंट फॉर लेट से इज ड्यू ऑन टेंथ ऑफ नेक्स्ट मंथ सो फ्रॉम फर्स्ट टू थर्टी ऑगस्ट मंथ का रेंट जो है इट इज ड्यू ऑन टेंथ ऑफ सेप्टेंबर एंड लेट से मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू का रेंट द रेंट फॉर मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू इज पेड ऑन टेंथ ऑफ अप्रैल ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो एज पर द अक्रूवल बेसिस दिस रेंट शुड बी यू नो शुड टेक इन टू इफेक्ट इन मार्च ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू ओनली इन द प्रीवियस फाइनेंशियल ईयर बट एज पर द कैश बेसिस इट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द कैश सो फंड फ्लो इज बेस्ड ऑन अक्रूवल वाइल द कैश फ्लो स्टेटमेंट इज बेस्ड ऑन कैश which of the following is our application of fund issue of bonus share redemption of shares payment of dividend payment of tax so payment of dividend payment of tax redemption of shares or debentures all these are application of funds net profit for the year is 15000 interest received in advance on 1st of january 20 2004 is 2000 interest received in advance uh and the end of the year is 3000 cash from operations will be 16000 so net profit in the whole year is 15000 and the interest that you received in the beginning of the year it was 2000 and it increased to 3000 so you 1000 more received as advance you received additional advance right so profit is 15000 Additional one thousand rupee you received as advance as a business you received, right? So sixteen thousand cash has been received by the business, and the same concept it is repeated in the exam. And let's do it again. Salary expenses forty thousand, outstanding in the beginning five thousand, outstanding in the end of the year ten thousand. So. The salaries that you pay during the year is forty thousand in the beginning of the year. Five thousand was due. In the end of the year, ten thousand is due. In the beginning of the year, five thousand rupees payment was pending. You had to pay five thousand rupee. At the end of the year, ten thousand is pending. So how much cash you have paid? You have paid thirty-five thousand. In the beginning of the year, five thousand rupee was a sort of loan to the employees. Now it is ten thousand rupee. Okay. In the beginning of the year, five thousand rupee was pending to the employees. Now ten thousand rupees is pending. So as a business, you actually paid thirty-five thousand expenses. Salary expenses is forty thousand, but five thousand additional is due. Abhi bhi pada hai pending. Okay, cash from operational activities will decrease due to what? Increase in current asset, decrease in current liabilities in both cases. In case the current asset increases. Let's say you buy more stock. You buy more stock. Up stock, ज़्यादा खरीद लेते हो. You are you have to put in more cash in the business. Okay. So <clears throat> if the creditor decreases or the current any current liability decreases, you need to put more cash into the business. Let's move forward. payment of income tax is shown as operating activity investing activity financing activity or general activity so income tax payment is an operating activity as i told you in the beginning of the class the income tax is actually related to day to day active you know business activity so it is an operational activity an example of cash flow from finance uh, financing activity is credit revenue from operation cash receipts so this is financing activity because this activity is directly related to what directly related to equity current liability and equity okay so this is not related to your current uh, to your non current assets investing activity related to non current asset operating activity day to day business financing activity non current uh, you know liabilities and owners equity okay so cash received from issue of shares owners equity this is financing activity 
interest received and paid is considered as which type of activity by a finance company for a finance company interest received or interest paid is an operating activity it is repeated it is a, it is a what it is an operating activity for a finance company interest received interest paid it is an operational activity okay if the profits earned during the year is 50000 and the amount of debtors in the beginning of the year is 10000 uh, and in the end it is 20000 okay how much cash that you have received in the begin uh, your net profit is 50000 in the market you in the beginning of the year 10000 was pending right the your debtor they need to pay you 10000 in the end of the year 20000 is pending from the market you need to receive 20,000 from the market. So 10,000 ka, you know, additional cash is there in the market. So 40,000 is the cash that you have received from the market in the whole year. Okay. It's not 50,000. 10,000 is additional 10,000 is with the market is with the debtor. So students, that's actually all for today. I hope you are able to understand the session. I have explained all the question exam related questions in this session and we are doing this session for SEBI grade A 2023 exam. Uh, in this course, we are providing video classes, notes and the test series for both phases, all the sections, complete syllabus is covered, downloadable notes are there, quizzes are there, full length test series is there and descriptive paper evaluation is also provided in the course. List of our successful students in 2021 last year and in 2018, all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exam. This is our WhatsApp number. In case there is any doubt in your mind, always ask your doubts and we are going to answer your doubts. That's actually all for today, students. I hope you like this session. If there is any doubt in your mind, please ask your doubts and I'm going to answer your doubts. Thank you and have a very nice day. Bye-bye.